Alrighty guys, time for another Palantir stock update. We're going to break down the charts. We're going to go over what I'm looking to do, how the stock's currently doing right now, and maybe at the end of the video, we'll break down the markets as it is about noon on the East Coast right now and everything except for the Dow is in the green. So we have a lot to go over in this video, but before we do that, guys, of course, don't forget to get your free money from Moomoo, the sponsor of this video. Open up your account using that link down below or just go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo and fund it with at least hundred dollars you get five stocks each up to two thousand bucks and fund your account at least a thousand dollars you get ten more stocks totaling 15 stocks and listen to this guys fund it with at least five thousand dollars on top of those 15 stocks you already got you also get a free share of either tesla stock or google guaranteed and guys this is limited time so use that link down below and of course that's an affiliate link i appreciate you guys as always and with that being said cheers yes i do have a starbucks this morning guys and we do of course have one water as well and the solo cup yeah funny enough it's in the solo cup guys i promise it's water yeah i'm not in my college days anymore so let's dive into palantir and break down what's going on right now then maybe later in the video we'll break down what's going on with the markets which again everything right now except for the dow which the dow is only down a little bit uh, but everything else is in the green so right now palantir stock is up almost four percent and it's almost noon did i mention that i forget that i mentioned that it's almost noon on the east coast and we have palantir stock up around 3.8 percent it's up 58 cents on the day it's at 15 dollars and 70 cents right now and what you'll notice guys once the markets open palantir ended up ripping right out of the gate no joke we opened at about 15 dollars and 13 15 20 cents right around there and this stock ran in the first 25 minutes all the way to 1590. We're talking about a move of around 5%. That's pretty strong, right? And you guys can see we got rejected at 1590. So we hit 1590, guys. And from that point, we ended up pulling down to around 1545 by around 1030 a.m. So we had that huge run in the morning, right? Hit 1590, saw a bit of a pullback, and now we're starting to slowly creep back up. This is actually a really good sign overall for the bulls here, at least in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So we had the pop, the little pullback. Now we're starting to slowly push back up. And in my opinion, guys, uh, well, it's not even an opinion. We, we can see it right here. We're back over the moving averages. And in my eyes, we're starting to make a shot back to 1590, which again was the high from earlier today at about 955, 10 a.m. And if that were to break, guys, uh, you know, we could start shooting up even more from there. So this looks really, really good right now, up 3.8, almost 4%. Let me pull back the layers a little bit, guys. Take a look here at the five day, five minute. Look at what Palantir stock did this morning really good for the bulls and mind you yesterday uh this thing got clobbered in the morning so essentially we did the exact opposite today so yesterday we opened up and then boom dropped like a brick dropped 90 cents to a dollar and today it was the opposite in the pre-market we were at 1490 and we shot up a dollar to 1590 then we saw the pullback now we're starting to run back up like i said buyers came in we held the higher low here you guys see it on the five day five minute very good sign for Palantir, and we took out the highs not only from yesterday with uh, with today's move in the morning, but the day before as well, day before that, day before that, day before that. So Palantir now is at a five-day, five-minute high, which is very strong. And let me actually show you guys here. Uh, well, first of all, let me draw this channel out. Keep in mind, we're still trading in this channel, so we have to realize that here on the five-day, five-minute. It's not the most, uh, it's not the prettiest looking channel, let's be honest here, but we're still still trading in it, right? You guys can see right here. And now we're approaching uh, 1575, 1590 again. So let me actually set an alert at 1575. Let me do that now. Mark is that we're above and I'll do another alert at, let me do it at uh, $16. Mark is that we're above $16 here on Palantir. And let me pull the layers back a little bit more, guys. Let me pop up this 20 day chart. Now you can see, hold on a second. Now we're moving back over the moving averages here. We're actually bouncing off the 180, which we actually held yesterday as well. So, um, you know, bulls, e even though they got hit yesterday, they held right around 1480, 15 bucks, right around the 180, which is good. And now we pop off of it, which is even better. We actually broke back over um, the 50 SMA as well. You guys can see right here. Now, all we really have to do is break that $16 level. I'm telling you guys, if Palantir breaks 16, whether it's, 
Um, today, Friday, we do have four more hours of trading, at least right now when I'm making this video. Maybe when you're watching this video, the markets might be closed. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, whether it's today, whether it's uh, next week, I'm looking at 16 because if we do break that point, guys, wide open gap to 17, 1725, then if that were to break, that's where Palantir could really start to make a shot, in my opinion, and I, and I know a lot of you guys will probably agree, but at that point, probably towards um, 20 bucks a share. That's in my opinion, guys. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And now on the four-hour chart, let me pull this up and show you guys we're actually, and you, and you all know uh, we have a wedge, right? We've talked about that time and time again here on this YouTube channel, and now we're actually approaching the top of that wedge you guys can see here we're uh, we're testing it right now no joke 1575 16 bucks so let's see if that breaks i mean look if we break that like i said 17 uh, you know 1725 could be next and we also have look at this guys a cup and handle let me show you guys this we have a cup right here boom you guys see that and we have the handle forming right here you guys see that on uh palantir so it all comes down to 16 dollars per share like i've been uh, i feel like i've been screaming that at the top of my lungs over the past couple of videos guys and you know we're right there now we're approaching it we're literally right there now the stock's up over four percent on the day so let's see if it breaks i mean again for the 15th time 17 could be next and if that were to break guys let's pull up the three-year chart we could really start moving, in my opinion, towards the 20s, you know, low 20s, maybe mid 20s over time, and we'll see where it ends up going from there, guys. Of course, we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, uh, but these are some targets that I have for Palantir. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments, guys, and let's quickly look at some other names making a move today. We have, of course, the overall markets uh, moving up today, which we'll cover maybe in another video. I don't want to just jam that in, you know, jam it in at the end of this video video. I think we had the jobs, uh, a jobs report come out today. I believe unemployment, uh, the unemployment, uh, unemployment rate came out. We'll talk about that in another video. So make sure you guys subscribe, but some other stocks that are moving right now, we have Alibaba up 8%. I'm not sure what's going on here, but Chinese company Alibaba now is up 8% on the day. Let me see on the live news tab. Did we get any news? China's Ant Group slapped with nearly one billion dollar fine. Second update, so I guess there's an update there with uh, with Ant Group. Alibaba stock soars after China fines Ant Group one billion dollars. Here is why. Yada yada yada. Barons.com. Maybe I'll make another video on that, or maybe a TikTok. Make sure to go follow me on TikTok, guys. At Stas Talk Stocks. You might as well follow me on Twitter at Stas Surface and on Threads. Yeah, yeah. You guys heard that. I'm on Threads now at Stas or Fest or Stas Talk Stocks. Just type that in. You'll find me uh, on all the platforms, right, guys? So Baba's up 8%. We have DraftKings also up on the day. Big move for DraftKings. My goodness, guys, up over 5%. And do we not talk about this? I think I made a video literally on DraftKings uh, yesterday, or, or, or I talked about it in a video. And now DraftKings is up a whopping, let me see here, 5.2%, like I said. And now we're making a move towards the top of this ascending triangle, which if that breaks, guys, DraftKings could be off to the races. It's currently at 26.50. We're approaching 27 bucks, guys. I'm going to set my alert there and we'll see where it goes from that point. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Feel free to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And do not forget to get your free money for Moomoo, Moo, guys. Up to 16 stocks, each up to 2,000 bucks. All you have to do is go down below, open up your account, and fund it with at least $100. You get five stocks right off the bat. And if you want some more money, why not fund your account at least $1,000. You get 10 more stocks, totaling 15 stocks, and fund it with at least 5,000 bucks, the best part of the program. Promo. You also get another free share of either Tesla stock or Google guaranteed on top of those 15 stocks you already got. So if you want some free money and you want to help out the channel, it's a win-win guys. Use that Moomoo link down below. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.